back to the Mort Show, everybody. We're your hosts, Margaret Cruz. And Kathleen Go. I have a question for all of you. Riddle me this. If inflation is real, why is money still flat, huh? Tell me. Your move, Libras. Yes, exactly. I feel when inflation happens, people aren't trying hard enough to just deflate their money. Like, there are vacuum seal bags available everywhere. You just put the money in the bag, turn on the vacuum, and then boom, deflated money. Exactly, but I hope by now all of you know we're just joking. No, 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 wait. We were just joking when we said to put it in a vacuum seal. That isn't how inflation works. So vacuum seals are sold out, and now Venezuela's economy is in shambles? Just how worse can this show get? That's how much money you need to buy a Travis Scott burger in Venezuela. But I do think that's enough money to buy the COVID vaccine before all the old people. Oh, cool! I hate old people. Yeah, me too, but I think that money is basically how much allowance Elon Musk gives his kids. Jeff Bezos probably has enough money to get the COVID vaccine for him and all his employees. Honestly, I think he has enough money to buy all the vaccines in the world. Aw, maybe he'll even ship them out in little Amazon packages. No, this is Jeff Bezos we're talking about. The typical rich male does not think about others. The only thing on his mind is probably about how to mansplain money to you. There's no way he's thinking about helping the general public with resources. It's not like the general public is helping each other either. Reporter Tony Lee is currently live at a local vaccination center where multiple Karens are spotted paying to receive the immunization before the mandated elderly. Karen Ethanet is a brilliant multimillionaire businesswoman who developed mesh masks to help combat the pressures of wearing protective cloaks. Last summer, Ethanet went under fire for not wearing a mask to the local grocery store, claiming it was because of her doctor's orders. She also posted videos and pictures of herself attending house parties via Instagram and Twitter. However, the multimillionaire successfully received a vaccination last week due to her donation, allowing her to continue her much needed parties and advocate for the anti-mask community. No need to worry about me. I'll attend my parties while fully protected by my shop. The government plans to distribute multiple vaccines within the upcoming months. However, while COVID-19 vaccinations are intended to keep us immune from the pandemic, it most certainly leaves us more susceptible to further ignorance. Margaret. Thank you, Tony. It's sad how all of these rich people only care about themselves. True, but I want to be rich because I hate everyone already. So maybe I'll go to Venezuela and become a millionaire and be their Jeff Bezos. So you want to exploit workers, give them no days off, and have high injury rates? Yeah. Perfect! Actually, I think Amazon and its obsession with speed will be good for Venezuela's failed deflation attempt. Really? What would be better and faster than the vacuum seal idea? Hello, my friends. My name is Pablo Bertillo, a wealthy Venezuelan citizen. And let me tell you how this plan has changed my life. With Venezuela's inflation of currency, millions have been left in poverty. Fortunately, our beautiful country is home to tons and tons of oil. With the new system and my new surf, I've been able to make enough money for both my family and his. This is way better than begging on the streets. Thanks to this new plan, I found meaning in my life, and I'll never have to vacuum my money again. You'll never have to pick up another vacuum cleaner ever again. Support the nation, support the economy, and support poor people. Thank you. How did I never think of serfdom? The 14th century Europeans were up to something genius. But if the middle class has to work, where will the poor people go? Well, in true Jeff Bezos and Amazon style, I think shipping them out would be perfect. Amazon Prime, but for people? That's perfect. Well, we're in luck, because it seems like shipping has already begun. But it seems like there's been some issues with shipping out the product. Oh, I know. Just yesterday, I saw a great advertisement about traveling to Belarus. Not sponsored! Yet! Let's play the video now. It's time to see more. Just because we're in quarantine doesn't mean we can't have fun at it, right? Why not travel somewhere that practically isn't quarantined at all? <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Excuse me, I must have gotten sick. Sick of how lame it is outside. <coughs> <coughs> oh my, please, <coughs> excuse me. Visit Bella Rose. It's as if the pandemic never happened here. Experience the sick life, the intricate arc, <coughs> the lively walkways, this all-inclusive <coughs> So book your trip now. The best part is you don't even need a COVID <coughs> test. Travel van who? Am I right? Wow, that seems like such a caring community. I bet they share everything with each other. Even COVID. So true, bestie. The Venezuelan people get to go on vacation while we're stuck here doing a stupid new show. Every hour, a Venezuelan person is shipped out to the Caribbean. They're packed into a truck and shipped off to a random island, waiting for someone, anyone, to save them. Hi, I'm Timothy Shali May. Please say you'll be the answer to all these innocent shipped out Venezuelans who are currently suffering right now. A Venezuelan who needs your help. This is your chance to say, I won't sit back when someone else suffers. No way people think this is bad. It's same day shipping. Well, some people are saying this is just as bad as the mistreatment of disabled in healthcare. True. Dr. Julian of Madagascar University Hospital recently went under fire for a leaked phone call, which revealed his views on the disabled. No, you don't understand. The patient I had just now does not listen to me. Every time I tried to talk to him, he kept shaking his head and throwing up gang signs, and whenever he would open his mouth, he would just keep mouthing the same thing over and over again. And then this random person came into my room and yelled at me because apparently I can't yell at deaf people. I'm sorry, is this not the land of equality? Man, and I thought shipping out people was harsh. The more and more I look at it, I guess Amazon Prime for people is the best way to solve this inflation. Yeah, the rich people get to keep their property, the middle class don't have to worry about unemployment, and the poor people get to go to the Caribbean and meet Johnny Depp! It's a win for everyone. Well, I guess that's all the time we have here today. Join us next show where we'll be addressing the government's stance on breaking the dormancy of surplus of mail, or BDSM for short.